sometimes I have customers that say, oh, what kind of space is this? I describe it and they're like, oh, you guys have photographers? I'm like, yeah, I'm the photographer. And we're like, who makes the coffee? Oh, I'm the barista. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make some lattes and some espressos, Peter McKinnon style. No, f him, no, I'm <laughs> just joking. That was the intro. No, don't do that. I get so much hate. Hi everybody, how you guys doing? This is Q here and we are at Create. Pronounce Create, drop a C, add in the Q because my name is Quay. That's how you get the name. Uh, so who I am is I'm a creator out of Orlando, Florida. Um, I'm also with the Sona Alpha team. My favorite things to shoot are landscape photography, uh, lifestyle, but where I make most of my money is on social media, commercial photography, uh, product and lifestyle stuff. Through my travels, I went to all these coffee shops throughout the country and that's what kind of gave me the idea like, hey, I love coffee, but I wish there was a space that was dedicated just for creators. So with that in mind, this kind of concept came about. I'm very appreciative for all the support that I've gotten. And yeah, so this is the concept right now. This was done by a local artist, Melissa. She goes by Brunchzilla as well. Um, but she did this mirror. We just finished it just in time for this actual video just for you guys. So as you can see, most of the work in here is all local artists as well. Everything here is hyper local. Our roasters, our uh, people that did our murals, our merchandise, everything's hyper local. Our espresso area here, pastries, and then now back to my baby over here. Not Sam, <laughs> we're not talking about, he's not my baby. <laughs> this is a 400 square feet uh, in studio as part of the retail space. So my idea with this concept was put my two passions together, which is coffee and uh, photography, and merge it into one space. So the idea is I wanna bring a client here, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna talk about the concepts that we wanna create, drink coffee, come into the studio. We have about 12 color backdrops, and after that, take the pictures, sit back down, and look through all the selects all in one location. Really easy, super dope for people that wanna just come hang out the space. As you can see, turn around, uh, it's wide open. So this is also very conducive to a learning environment for people who want to see in, take sneak peeks to see what's going on in the space. Uh, they can do so as well. We have a full psych wall right here. And then we have lots of V-flats. So if people want privacy, we can use the eight foot uh, V-flats there. It's, it's extremely unconventional, but it works out really well because I wanted this to be more of a community centric place. So we, we actually host a lot of events for uh, amateurs or just people in general, right? So we, we're a creative community hub. Um, every first Tuesday, we have meetings with creators. These events are also free. Our studio space for, that you can rent is actually only $50 an hour, which is a crazy low price. Uh, we have lighting workshops. Uh, we have introduction to photography classes. Uh, and then from there, the education doesn't stop. We also have latte art classes and um, coffee brewing 101. So we teach you a little bit more about coffee and how to brew really good coffee. Yeah, you want to make some coffee? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's do so let's do that uh, hazy daisy. It's called the hazy daisy. All right. My normal advice for amateur photographers that want to get into this space is to prepare. Five P's, proper planning prevents poor performance. Those items right there will help you. I'm talking like have a game plan. Don't just say one day I'm just gonna quit my nine to five and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. You, you wanna prepare, because if you don't prepare, your ass is gonna be in the streets. So just plan ahead, know the type of photography you wanna be, uh, and it's okay to change. No inspiring story, you know, I wasn't like inspired by Ansel Adams or anybody like that. I was literally a dad that uh, wanted to take pictures of, of their daughters and I picked up a camera and did so. But I enjoyed it so much uh, through the years. But over time, it just became a bigger passion and I realized that you can actually make some real money with this. So that helped as well. And if you look at our menu, we're, it's not traditional black coffee. Uh, we are considered more of a craft coffee shop where we craft our own specialty drinks. We have some really crazy flavors that we do that people really love. Um, that's what we're really known for. Overall, opening up was pretty tough, but you know, we're finally here. We're in our third year now, so. Oh, it's this, this bro. You need this. All right, guys, uh, 
thanks for joining me uh, today, but you gotta go now. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Sorry, I had too much fun doing that. I'm actually, I'm actually doing labor. I wash dishes here. Don't be fooled. He never does dishes. <laughs> Don't listen to her.